video is about making images black and white in Photoshop. There are many ways to do this. Um, one way is destructive, as in it changes this photo permanently and you can only undo one step, but 20 steps down you won't be able to undo it. So I suggest you don't do it through here. Do not do it up through image and adjustments. It's gone black and white. Now my photo is permanently black and white. Okay, so to reverse that is Command Alt Z. The better adjustments, which give you the exact same options, are here in this half moon looking picture. And here I can also click black and white. Now you'll see here it has created a little layer above it. And I can turn that on and off. I can do that any time when I'm making my artwork. So it is non-destructive. It hasn't actually permanently changed the photo. Uh, within the black and white options you have sliders that mean that certain colours within the original photograph can be uh, played with as to how black and white you want them. So that's one way to make it black and white. Another way, I've just turned the little eye off so it's back to my original photo. Another way is to go hue saturation and saturation is the amount of colour in the photo. You can bring it right down. That actually creates a really nice look there. If you bring it all the way down, again you've got it black and white but you don't have the options of manipulating the individual colours. Um, another way to do it is to go, this creates quite a different look, is to go threshold and that creates your kind of cut out look. So that's extreme black and white. 